At 8 p.m., the head judge will announce that the polls have closed. If there is a line of voters at 8 p.m., have an election judge stand at the end of the line. Anyone who arrives after this judge is not allowed to vote. Do not begin to close the polling place until all voters have finished voting. To show that the polls have closed, remove the U.S. flag and the vote here sign from the outside. The closing of the polling place is open to the public, so do not lock up the building until leaving. To properly close the polling place, follow the red closing instructions located in the red folder. The head judge will assign closing duties as listed on the instructions. The first task that the head judge should complete is the closing of the ballot counter. See video 7 for more instruction on how to close the ballot counter. While the head judge is closing the ballot counter, the precinct judges will complete the following duties. Remove voter parking signs and other materials from the outdoors. Remove the signs from the walls. Gather the pen and green box supplies and remove the blue tape from the floor. Remember to remove the tape from the backs of the signs and repack the green box in a careful manner as most supplies will get reused next year. Take down the voting stations and close down the automark. See video 8 for more instruction on how to close the automark. When cleaning up the polling place, make sure that it is left in the same condition that it was in at the beginning of the day. Two election judges of different political parties must complete the certification form for the polling place ballots. This is the same form that was used in the opening of the polling place to audit the number of ballots. First, count the number of sealed ballot packs remaining. Then count the number of unused loose ballots, the number of spoiled ballots, and the number of duplicated ballots. Confirm with the head judge for the number of total voted ballots. Fill these numbers onto the certification form and verify that the polling place ended the day with the same number of ballots that it started with. Once the certification is confirmed, put the voted ballots into the ballot transfer case. Ballots in the writing compartment must go into the envelope for write-in ballots. Have all the judges sign the sticker seals verifying the contents of the transfer cases being sealed. Seal up the ballot transfer case and the write-in envelope. Attach two rat tail seals to the ballot transfer case. Any pre-initial ballots that are left remaining need to be inactivated by striking a line through the ovals on the ballot. Any ballots that have not been pre-initialed do not need to be inactivated. All unused blank ballots are to be returned into the green box and should never be sealed with the voted ballots. Once the ballot counter has been closed, the head judge will need to complete the voter statistics sheet the voter statistics sheet, also known as the pink sheet, is the official document used to audit the number of total voters at the polling place. This document is used to report the official election results to the Secretary of State's office and various canvassing boards. To complete the pink sheet, first fill out line A, the number of voters who registered on election day. To get this number, count the yellow receipts. This number should be the same as the number of registration applications completed and the number of signatures in the non-registered roster. Then fill out line B, the number of voters who signed the registered roster. To get this number, count the number of blue receipts or the signatures in the pre-registered roster. Then fill out line C, the number of total voters. This number is the sum of lines A and B and should match the total number counted by the ballot counter. If you find discrepancies with the statistics on the pink sheet, use the hourly tracking sheet and the election day journal to see if there are any incidents during election day that might have caused your statistics to be off. Record any incident which caused your numbers to be off onto the voter statistics sheet and remember to inform an election staff member when returning your supplies 
who will be available to assist you with resolving any of the discrepancies. Following the election night returns and the green box checklist found in the red folder, confirm what materials are to be returned where. In the canvas bag should be the registered and non-registered rosters, the election cell phone, and the green, red, and purple folders. Make sure all election judges have completed their timesheets and that evaluations for the election judges and the polling place have been completed. In the form and envelope transfer case, also known as the blue tub, should be all the manila envelopes. These should be signed and sealed. The white envelope, which will contain the completed voter registration applications and any vouching documents. And the black forms folder, which should include all forms used throughout the day. After the polling place has been closed down, certain materials will need to be returned to the elections office, while other materials will stay at the polling location. Located in the red folder, the election night return certification form will list all the materials that will be brought back to the elections office by the head judge. All the materials to be left at the polling place should be returned to the same location that they were found at in the morning. The materials that stay at the polling place are the green box, the auto mark, voting stations, the black ballot box, the U.S. flag, vote here sign, and voter parking signs. The materials to be returned to the elections office by the head judge include the sealed ballot transfer case, the sealed form and envelope transfer case, the ballot counter, and the canvas bag. If any of the materials are left at the polling place, the head judge will have to go back and get them, as they are required to be returned on election night. A sheet in the red folder will list the location and details for the election night returns. The head judge can have another judge assist them with the returns if needed. Ramsey County staff will be stationed at the Plato Building Street Entrance and Loading Dock to direct head judges with their returns.